Welcome everybody to another tutorial. Up to this moment, uh, I'm still in the middle of the rendering. So this is the first patch. As you can see, it's an explosion with a couple of uh, sourcing for the ground, for the main mushroom, and uh, some rings in the middle. So we'll talk about the about the anatomy of this biro explosion. Hopefully you will like it. So let's go and see the Houdini hip file. So this is the top scene of the Houdini file. <coughs> Here I have a couple of cameras. This is the first one. This is the second one. Third which is a little bit close up and the fourth one from the top so here we are also we have environment light and distant light for the explosion okay let's go to the hip file the hip file will be av is available on my patreon you can uh, view it there on my page Fadi VFX and uh, it will be appreciated uh, on my patreon page Fadi VFX you are most welcome to join me and support me over there all my scene file and example uh, I uploaded over there so you are most welcome to come and see now let's go back to the hip file so here I have uh, one two three four five sources let's start with the first one so it's just a point let me change the background to be dark now I'll remove this one so we have these three points and I'm creating a biro burst source as you can see here to change the shape um, we are creating a different P scale we changing the expansion of the direction and the divergency being changed also and being randomized so in the source in the birth shape I'm choosing to have explosion the first one with some offset and the initial size we are changing the B scale spreading angle also being changed and we are playing with the start frame to have some randomness they don't start together so it will give us the different shape and in the component I have here a density with some noise also temperature and divergence and burn so for fire to happen we need burn and we need temperature next I have another point little bit at the top with some positive divergence and it's being started at frame 20 after the initial explosion happened and it start to rise so if we go to frame 20 we start to see it so these rings is the blast rings with some offset and some initial size with the increased expansion as like uh, 4.7 and the component we have divergence and density and the divergence also in the positive so it will push the velocity of the remaining smoke and explosion aside then we have another viral burst
this will be in the middle while the main mushroom will be in this area so this will create another explosion here it is also still explosion at frame 22 and it's rounded in shape because it's in the air and the component is density temperature divergence and burn so it will be a big explosion then we have another pyrosol so we have two points this one will be at the bottom like another explosion but here I choose to have it as muzzle flash for up around uh, four units with some with some randomness in the divergence starting frame and the spreading angle so these two these are the one you see here this one and this one this is the two ring and here another explosion that will cast some rays down below so all of them being merged here this is how they look after that we are doing uh, volume attribute rasterizing for all of the component and then in the pyro solver here setup I just increase the voxel size for easy uh, manipulation we are closing below we don't have collision sourcing we have density that I increase it up to 3 and temperature that's being pulled with the acceleration of 50 and there's a burn that will be converted to flames and we have the divergence and it's being increased up to 10 and a velocity and that's for the sourcing the field dissipation I increase it so we don't uh, have accumulated smoke otherwise it will cripple my machine and we are emitting smoke from the flame a density of a 3 and there is a little bit of expansion also and the flame size of 4 in the shape I have very small buoyancy wind in the x-axis turbulence and initial turbulence and a little bit of flame expansion and I'm outputting all of these as a VDB inside the pyro solver I have gas vortex confinement with a scale of 5 and the uh, vortex boost 0.8 and uh, 3 gas disturb with a block paste according to the block size 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and 0.75 all being merged to the advection output so if you view the mushroom cache here's how it will look the two explosion here I'm adding a barrel volume because I'm rendering in Karma XPU so here I uh, created the material 
and this is the XPU biro preview this is the one I I am using to be assigned smoke up to five with a ramp also I'm using scattering with very high intensity with some core scale up to 20 and I am masking the areas as you can see here for the fire I'm using 2000 intensity scale and I shifted a little bit the black and adding some masking no secondary fire from the cached pyro I am keeping away or, or uh, removing everything except the velocity and the temperature that I will use for the ground explosion so for the ground explosion I started with the torus I'm transforming it to a proper size with some animation and on top of that I'm adding a noise to have interesting shapes and I'm clipping everything below zero and here I'm calculating the velocity so can I can use it in the simulation of the smoke after that just a virus source and here I'm scattering on the volume density and temperature adjusting the velocity also a little bit adding some adjustment so it's a little bit chaotic then I am rasterizing the volume density temperature and volume and this is what we have and in the pyro solver I keep the same as the original one but here in the sourcing I'm keeping only density and the density I'm converting it to the divergence with multiplication of 2 and the velocity I even didn't use the temperature and inside I use the same regime volume source ah, I use the same thing here but you remember here I kept only temperature and velocity which I am pointing to a volume source as a pump according to the density I am adding the temperature to be used as divergence so it will push it away and the V as a velocity with two multiplication well should be well let me fix it well The volume source is balloon so after I run the cache this is the result here I increase also the wind as you can see in the shape the wind I make it 5 so it's a little bit faster because of the noise on the position this is the advection of the main explosion so how it's pushing it away then I added a blue smoke oh sorry I added uh, the biro bake volume and I'm pointing it to the XPU total of 10 and gradient and some scattering so I can capture some of the flames and no fire
then I exported the smoke below to another geometry here and I created the scene in the top here I am using a uh, rope karma render this is the frame range XPU the beta version here the sampling I'm multiplying by 2 I'm increasing the volume limit up to 6 and I didn't use the denoising because it make it very very smooth which I didn't want and this is the outcome till now hopefully you enjoy this uh, presentation and you can get the file on my patreon where you will be supporting me to improve and add more tutorial thank you very much and have a nice day